What's up, love bugs? I am back with another video. Hey guys. Hey. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you know me and my husband just moved into our home. So we're making it homey. Yes. So make sure you check me out on Instagram at BD on the go with Miss Joe. Also, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up so I can do more videos like this. And make sure you are subscribed. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys our coffee bar. I got the idea to do a coffee bar. Honestly, you all go on to Pinterest and Pinterest just gets your whole entire life. Like it gets you together. So I was like, hey, let me just, you know, tease a couple of my house things on Instagram and people actually liked them and they wanted to see if I was vlogging this or doing videos on it. So I decided to go ahead and do some videos. So you guys, I'm going to show you my coffee bar right now and then I'm going to go over the details that I did to make my coffee bar and prices, stuff like that. So keep watching. Okay, so now that you guys seen my coffee stand as a whole, I'm gonna walk through the things that are on my coffee bar. So the first thing is this Keurig. I like this Keurig, it's small, it's lightweight, it's portable. I can pretty much move it anywhere across the counter. I liked it because it fit really good within this corner. If you notice, when we get through my entire coffee bar, I actually technically do have three coffee makers, but we only use two of them and we use them for separate purposes. So the second thing on here is a cookie jar. This jar I picked up from Target. It was actually on my registry as a gift. I believe it was $16.99. We do have cookies in there. <laughs> kind of a little empty. Oh, by the way, this Keurig was $79.99, but I purchased it for Black Friday. I wanna say during Black Friday, it was like 30 bucks. The next thing that I have is my loose leaf tea. This is part of the matching set of the cookies. I wanna say this loose leaf tea thing was on sale for $7.99. I actually did get it off my registry as well. And I drink loose leaf tea. This next item, I'm gonna pull it out so you guys can actually see it. The Magnolia collection, if I'm not mistaken. I have to read the top, but I'm pretty sure this is the Magnolia collection at Target. Yes, it is. <laughs> so I can place pretty much anything on here. Currently right now I used artificial plants. I picked these plants up, three of them from Ikea for $3.99. This one actually came from Ikea as well. I would say that one was $7.99. And if you guys notice behind them, they are some tea mugs. These tea mugs stay pretty darn warm for a while and you can heat these up in the microwave. I love these. I received this as a wedding gift as well. It was two for $19.99 and that came off of Target as well. So like I said, this stand has multi-purposes. You can put candy on here, cookies, treats, cheeses, pretty much anything. You can move it around the house. It goes with pretty much all my house decor, but I wanted up here to kind of bring my whole entire coffee bar together. In front of the stand is, oh, the stand I believe costs $32.99 if I'm not mistaken. So in front of here, I have a bride and groom cup set. I actually got that as a gift from the wedding. I don't know who gave those to me and I honestly couldn't tell you where to get them. I'm pretty sure if you typed them into Google, you would be able to find them, but I think this is pretty cool. And my husband uses the groom one every single day. So I think it's honestly really cute. Anyways, so along with the tea and cookie maker, I have a coffee one. Now, this one doesn't have loose leaf coffee in it. It actually just has K-cups in it. And these K-cups are actually decaf. He loves decaf coffee. So 
instead of doing the loose leaf coffee, he had the option too. I just went ahead and stuck them in here for the time being. It's pretty cute. I wanna say this one was $10.99 if I'm not mistaken, but it was on sale at one point in time at Target. I got that as well as a gift. And now you guys, my electric tea kettle. This tea kettle is amazing. I did have it on my registry as a wedding gift. This is amazing. So if you look down here closely, you can use this for coffee. I just use it, like I said, for loose leaf teas. Let me focus in for you guys. So on the side is the on button. So when you turn it on, you know, it lights up. I'm gonna turn it off since I don't have anything in there. But across it is so cool. You have a different settings. You have a warm, you have a white, you have a herbal, it has a different temperatures, and you can set to what you want it to brew at. So I think that's super, super cool. Like I said, I use it for teas. My husband has yet to use it. I don't think he will be using it, especially since we have K-Cups. We have the old school Keurig. This one actually does work. Do I even have it plugged in? No, I don't have it plugged in, but we don't use this one. This is for if we have multiple people coming over or if we want more than just one cup, I guess. This was something I already had, kind of forgot about it, and then I ended up getting a whole nother coffee thing. So overall, this is my simple, coffee bar it's very very achievable you can do different types of things for it um you might be asking me where my sugar my tea my honey we have creamer actually in the refrigerator it's not on the stand and then the honey is actually in the cabinet but outside of that i wanted to keep it very simple very clean very easy to clean and you can pretty much get what you need to make your coffee or your tea right here at this stand. I am gonna do a sign. I'm not sure where exactly my sign is gonna be. However, this is my coffee bar idea. If you guys have any ideas or anything to add to it, definitely let me know. If you guys have any links to any cute signs, also let me know because I am looking for a cute coffee sign. But until next time, y'all, bye.